Hey, what's going on everybody? Dan here. We're back at Walnut Ridge today. I found another really cool fifth wheel. Not half ton towable, again, heavy, but I thought this one was really cool. This is the 344 MKS. You have a dry weight of 10,660 pounds, sleeps four. Link's not on here, but I will find that out. I know several of you have asked me about that. Um, I'll make sure and get that added on here. <music> Go ahead and take a look. So one notable feature is when you first walk in, the steps are not immediately when you come in the door, like a lot of the fifth wheels, they've actually moved them over. So I'm being told this is kind of like, uh, makes it feel more like a greeting space and directly off that entry, you do have some closet space to where you can hang up your uh, coats or hats or whatever. As you see, lots of storage space here. We'll go bedroom first, or bedroom bathroom first. Control panel right here. You also have that remote that I've talked about in a few of my videos where you can control your slides, your awning, that good stuff. Temperature controls down here. I do like, so far, this bathroom. So you do have the nice big shower with the sit down. The sit down is so nice. Uh, lots of cabinet space above and below, as well as here on the side for your towels, wash rags, all that good stuff. But I do really like that you have the pass through to the bedroom. So we'll now go into the bedroom. Okay, so here in the bedroom, you have the giant king size bed, which is really, really nice. TV already mounted on the wall in this little box to kind of give it that home feel. You have the cabinets here we have a similar cabinet in ours i absolutely love it sarah and i split this between us when we're on vacation in addition though you get all this other space because you are in a uh, fifth wheel so it is washer and dryer hookup if you want to come over here honey i'll move out of the way washer dryer hookup you would just have to take the shelf out of the way and then in a nice big closet space with an extra stand in here couple of USB charging ports, that's a nice feature if you want to put your iPad or uh, iPhone or whatever in there. And then I'm going to cut around Sarah here. We'll go out and we will check out the kitchen and the living room. It does look like you could do a second AC unit in here because you have the, uh, the vent already for it. So out here in the kitchen main area again you have that lots of storage space there you have the double wide refrigerator here some decent counter space your traditional three burner stove I do like the giant island here with the double sinks some additional storage space underneath I don't know if you want to come around and see any of the storage space here On this side, you have your dinette. I love the dinette because, it, I don't know, I just feel like it gives you more room in here. You lose a couple of sleeping spots, but this is a nice area to sit and play cards with friends or family. You have the double recliner. I'm sure these come out somehow. Yeah. Nice double recliner with a large TV and a fireplace. I don't know if you can get that in the shot, honey. Looks like you also have a pantry right here. Nice deep pantry. So they have a lot of storage space. I do like some of the fancy features like this accent light that's above the island here in the kitchen. They've done some really cool work along the top of the slides with factor or fixing the lights in. They've also done that here. And just some fancy little features like these cutouts here for the light just to kind of give it that more high-end feel. Some additional cabinets above the other couch. So a lot of seating space. So yeah, overall a really nice model. Again, not half ton towable, but still uh, 10,000 some pounds. So not, not horrible. 
Hey guys, so here is the outside of that fifth wheel that we were just taking a look at. So here you have the propane tank. You'll have a matching one on the other side. You have a gigantic pass-through storage. That is my favorite thing about a fifth wheel is just all this pass-through storage that they have. You do have a spot out here to hook up your TV. Pretty standard. Water heater. Um, what I do like, and I'm going to get some more information to this and share with you guys, is that they are going with this three-year guarantee, which is actually a year more than the industry standard. And I think they're doing that across all of their, uh, their models. But the three-year guarantee is really, really cool. I'll get some more information on that to share with you guys. So we have a slide on this side. It's a large slide. Coming around to the back, we have the bike rack, the uh, ladder going up. Let's go check out the other side. Love the front cap on this. Uh, the Cougars do such a nice job on the front cap. It's got the light up here so you can actually see your hitch when you're trying to connect at night. I'm going to take the camera because I have to climb back in here. So here's your front storage. So you have your battery, your spare tire, there's your jacks. Here's the other side of that pass through. Here is your utility panel and it does have the connector down here so you can run all of your cables and wires up through there. Be able to close your pass through. You don't have to worry about anything getting stolen. Um, it does have the winterizing, solar charging. Got your faucet up there. And it looks like nothing else on this side. Sorry, it's a little tight fit. Nothing else on this side other than the slide. So yeah, big model, cool model. Mm -hmm.